So you have just created your Streamlit application, but you don't want to keep it to yourself because you want to share your awesome creation with the world. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could deploy your Streamlit app to the Streamlit Community Cloud. And best of all, it's for free. So if this sounds like fun, then this video is for you. And without further ado, we're starting right now. Let's have a look at some of the contents that we're going to be covering today. I'm going to show you a five-step process where you could go from step one, building a Streamlit app, step two, setting up a Streamlit Community Cloud account, step three, connect your GitHub account to the Community Cloud, step four, create a GitHub repo with your app, and step five, deploy your Streamlit app to the Community Cloud in just a few clicks. So before showing you how to actually deploy your app, let's take a short moment to consider the high-level overview of why do you need to deploy your Streamlit app to the cloud. So obviously, the most important reason is that you want to share your creation with the entire world to see, to make use of, or perhaps to give you comments, feedbacks, and points for improvement. And best of all, anyone in the world could have access to your app without installing any prerequisite Python libraries as they are able to access the functionality of the app right inside their browser. So in a nutshell, you have generally two options for deploying your Streamlit app. The first one is to manually set up your virtual private server and then configure everything so that it works together and your app is hosted. Option number two is to use a cloud platform where essentially you could upload your app repo onto the GitHub and then connect it to the cloud platform so that it could be hosted. And so in this video, we're going to cover the second approach. And the reason being is that it's the simplest approach and it will allow you to get up and running in no time. And of course, the first option where you could create your own private server provides you with full control, but then the time and cost involved in setting up the platform would require a hefty investment of time and cost. So here are some of the reasons why you want to deploy your Streamlit app to the Streamlit Community Cloud. So the first advantage is that it's free. You could deploy your Streamlit apps at no charge. Advantage number two, you could deploy it in a few clicks and your fully hosted app will be shareable in a few minutes. Third advantage is that all of your code is on the cloud in the GitHub repo, and this allows you to collaborate with your peers. Fourth advantage is that it supports live updates to your code so that whenever you push a new code change, your Streamlit app will be updated in real time. Advantage number five is that you'll be able to securely connect to your data, where you could connect to all of your data sources using secure protocols. Advantage number six, you could restrict access to apps. So by default, you'll have access to one private app that will allow you to create an app that is not yet ready for the public. And when it's ready, you could make it public. Advantage number seven, you could easily manage all of your Streamlit apps in one control center, which will allow you to collaborate with your peers, name or rename your Streamlit apps, and just generally have a glance in one view, all of the apps that you have just created. All right, and so the first step is to create your Streamlit app. And so I'm gonna launch the Atom IDE on my computer, or you could use any other code editor as well. So let's create a simple app. We're gonna import Streamlit as st. Then we're going to say st.write. And then I'm going to say hello world. And then we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it to the desktop. I'll call it Streamlit app.py. Save it. So the next step is I'll set up an account on the Streamlit Community Cloud. You could go to streamlit.io slash cloud. And then you can see here that all of the high level overview is provided here on this web page. And you could go ahead and click on sign up. So you could sign up by continuing by using your Google credentials or your GitHub credentials as well. Or you could also sign up using the traditional approach of putting in your email. So let me use my GitHub account. And so here you put in your GitHub username and then your password. And so 
when you're logging in for the first time, it's going to ask you for permission. So you could authorize Trimlet to have access to your GitHub repo. So click on Authorize Trimlet and wait just a moment so that you'll be able to deploy your app directly from GitHub. And click again, Authorize Trimlet. All right, and so you're logged in to the community cloud. And because you haven't yet deployed your app, you're going to see an empty yellow box here. So you could go ahead and deploy your first app by clicking New App if you already have a GitHub repo. But we haven't yet built one, so I'm going to show you in just a moment. So why don't you go ahead and click on Settings, and then go to here in the source control, I am logged in as coding professor using GitHub. And so you can see here that you are allocated one gigabyte per app and you are able to create one private app. And you're also able to create an unlimited number of public apps. And these are some of the support information just in case you have any questions or need help. You can check out the documentations and also the forums and Discord. So you can see that because we're logging in using our GitHub account, the Streamlit Community Cloud already have access to your GitHub repos. And so you don't need to do any configuration here. However, if you have signed up using your Google account, then you have to also provide authorization for your GitHub account as well. And it's as simple as clicking on the link here and then providing authorization, similar to the one that I've just shown you in just a few moments ago. All right, and so now that we have already connected our GitHub to the Streamlit Community Cloud, the next step here, step number four, is to create a GitHub repo for your Streamlit app. So let's go ahead and go to GitHub. And I have already created a repo app here, but I'm gonna create a new one to show you. Go ahead and click on new. And let me see, I'll say hello app. And I'll make it public. And I'll tick on adding a readme file. And then you could click on the create repository. All right, and now you could just click on add file, create new file. And then you want to type in streamlit app.py. And for the contents here, you could copy and then paste it here. Or you could also upload the file to your GitHub repo as well. And uploading is as simple as clicking here in the at file and clicking upload files. And then you could just drag and drop the file or you could select it from here and then select the file and then open. Because I have already created the file, then I'll just skip this part. Because we already have this Trimlet app.py file. And let's do a double check, click on the file. And then here we have a very simple app that will write out the hello world statement on your app. All right, so let's deploy the app here. And so this is step number five. We're gonna deploy your Streamlit app to the Streamlit Community Cloud. So go ahead and click on New App. And then in the Repository drop-down menu here, you wanna click on it. And then click on Hello App, the repo that we have just created. And then the branch here is main because it is main here as well. And then the name of the file is streamlitapp.py. And go ahead and click on Deploy. And so allow a few moments for the app to be deployed on the server. And you'll notice here that this is the URL that the server has created for you. And if you would like to have a shorter version of the app name, you could go and rename the app. So I'll show you in just a moment. Let's wait for the app to be deployed first. In the meantime, you could click on the Manage app and you'll be able to see the log. So just in case if there's any error, you will be able to see in here. You can see here that it has already done all of the installation of the prerequisite libraries in order to create the server. So this server is created just for you on the fly. And so when you have clicked on the Deploy button, this particular server has been instantiated and created just for you. 
And so there you go. You see on the left-hand side that your app is already deployed to the Streamlit Community Cloud. And you can see the statement, hello world. All right, and so as promised, I'm going to show you how you could rename your Streamlit app. So go ahead and go back to your control center of the Community Cloud. You could just type in share.streamlit.io. All right, and so this is the app that you have just deployed, hello app. And if you click on it, you're going to go to the app that was just launched a few moments ago. And so in this button here, you want to click on it, go and click on settings. And here you could rename it. You could rename it to hello app. It has already been taken. How about hello app here? How about coding hello? Save it. And now your app will be available at coding-hello.streamlit.app. See, it's coding-hello.streamlit.app. So congratulations, you've deployed your first Streamlit app to the cloud using the Streamlit Community Cloud. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy Streamlitting.